Hey, it's Mike again. When my KK2.1 multi-rotor board arrived from Hobby King, I was disappointed when I realized it doesn't include a warning LED. So I decided to make my own, and I'll show you how in this video. Hobby King sells these, but it turns out you probably already have the things needed to make one. The KK2 has the ability to sense your battery voltage. It comes with a little warning buzzer. You set the alarm voltage on the KK2, and when it reaches the voltage, the buzzer starts sounding, and when it goes below that voltage, it sounds more frequently. What happens is the KK2 outputs 5 volts on the two pins used for the buzzer. You can use the alarm output for a warning LED also. You can use the buzzer alone, the LED alone, or both together. You can even do multiple LEDs. The connection the buzzer uses used to be a standard black male servo connector, but with the KK2.1, Hobby King started using a red male JST connector. If you have the red male JST connector and you want to use more than just a buzzer, I would suggest replacing the JST connector with a servo connector to make connections easier. We'll need a male servo connector for the LED. I cut mine off of a bad servo. You can also purchase one if you need to. Since they both use servo connectors, if you need the alarm output to go to a buzzer and an LED, you just plug both into a servo Y connector. You can use just about any LED for this and any color you like. Here are three different LEDs from the dimmest to brightest. I'm going to use one of these very bright 115 lumen LEDs. This most closely resembles the LEDs you get from Hobby King. These are super bright. Check the video notes for a link to where you can purchase this and other components from this video. Now an LED typically uses around 3 volts, but remember the alarm output is 5 volts. So if you hook up an LED directly, you're going to burn it out eventually. So to remedy this, we just need to add a resistor in the circuit. So what kind do you need? We just plug the numbers into an LED resistor calculator to find out. The source voltage is 5 volts for the KK2. The diode forward voltage from the LED is 3.8 volts. If you're not sure, I would just use 3.2 volts. The diode forward current is 350 milliamps. But you want to check the specs on your own LED. I click Find R to find the resistance. It says I need a size of 3.9 ohms. You can round up to the next closest resistor if you need to, which for me is 7 ohms. Now it's just a matter of connecting our servo wire to the resistor and LED in a simple circuit. Start by cutting the wire from both sides of the resistor, leaving only a centimeter. Pull apart your servo wire and if you want, you can either cut or remove the yellow wire by prying up on the tab on the connector and pulling the pin out. We're only going to use the red and black wires. Somewhere along the red wire, we want to cut out a space for the resistor. Place the resistor next to it and mark the resistor location and the end of each wire. Our goal is to put a resistor in line here, but keep the red wire the same length as the black wire. Cut out the black marked area in the middle and strip one centimeter on each side so that it looks like this. The red wire will be positive and the black wire will be negative. Mark the negative and positive pins on the LED with markers. I'll supply a link to help you tell the difference. Strip the ends of the servo wire so that there is just enough wire to make the contact with the LED. Tin all your connections, the wire ends on your servo wire, the resistor ends, and the LED leads. Now we just need to solder our circuit together. Solder the separated red wire to the resistor. Solder the resistor to the other red wire. Slide the heat shrink over the resistor and heat it. Solder the red wire to the positive LED lead and the black wire to the negative LED lead. If you have long leads, you may want to consider using heat shrink. Let's see how this works now. We plug the buzzer and LED into the alarm output on the KK2 using the Y connector. I'm actually using two LEDs in the buzzer for mine. If I go into the miscellaneous settings menu on the KK2, there is a setting called alarm 1 tenth volts. This tells the KK2 to start triggering the alarm when the voltage goes down that far and the voltage drops lower. And as the voltage drops lower, 
it increases in frequency. Now this setting is in 110 volts, so 130 means 13.0 volts. Here's what happens when I set the alarm to 126 and the voltage on the battery is 12.5 volts. Let's see what happens as I increase the difference. You can see and hear the higher frequency alarm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and give suggestions in the video notes below. Also, if there's anything you want to see, please make a suggestion. Thanks for watching the MMary2 channel. Click to subscribe for more exciting RC videos.